What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have something I think is really, really cool for you guys. So, if you guys watched my last video, I'll link that above, guy. It is the uh, Tau Rasha Meteor pushing build. It's the build that I would use for Wizards if I'm gonna push to high ranks. We already showcased that it does, you know, it's a really cool build and it will hit up to 140s on the leaderboards is what uh, we found it to be at. So. But I wanted to, for all you wizard mains out there, for people who really enjoy the Meteor build, because I think it's probably the coolest thing for wizards in a long time and for this season, considering how they had to nerf Magic Missile in a way. So I was thinking, like, how do I come up with a way to do T16? So we have a T16 build here for you guys if you want to farm out some rifts, farm out some bounties. It's it's pretty fast and it still smacks like nothing else, dude. So we're gonna get in, we're gonna go do one and then I'm gonna showcase the build for you guys as always. So let's get in and just knock out a T16 rift. It should go pretty quick. The build's pretty insane. Now, the way that the build is gonna play is it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be pretty similar to how you would play the Meteor Push build. It's not too different from that the only difference is is we have a lot more mobility in this because of aether walker and we're able to just move across the map no problem as you guys can see here the only thing that really kind of slows you down is if you want to pick up items or maybe come back and pick up some items whatever the case is i'm doing that because i need some resources we've been building like crazy and re-rolling so i need resources man i don't care but you can see the build is actually pretty fast. We got a crazy floor for this too, which I think is awesome. And if you guys like pay attention down to my arcane down here, like I really don't run out of it too. Like it doesn't run out too bad actually because of all of our cooldowns. So it, it's not too bad at all. Now I may be like going back and forth because of my infinite teleporting, but it's all because we want to pick up those items. But you guys can see we have already smashed through a T16 rift. Like, I mean, literally like it's nothing, okay? The build is just crazy fun. If you like meteors and you want to do T16 stuff, this is definitely the build for you, okay? And you can see we can just infinitely cast teleport. Just infinitely. We have no cooldown because of Aether Walker. Which is just great. Give me all this. We got a really good floor that first floor too. So again, guys, for the build, you want to like when you pop into the rift or when you're doing bounties, you want to have storm armor, familiar, and magic weapon always popped. And then all we're going to do is just teleport around and cast meteors like it's no tomorrow. Okay, that's all we're doing. That's it. Cast the meteors. Destroy everything. Again, on the Meteor build, it's probably one of the best for single target damage because of the increases. And boom, just like that. T16 Rift done really, really fast. Kill these guys so I can go back to town. Now, let's get back to town and check out the gear, the gear guys, as always. All right, let's get right into the gear, guys. So, as before, we're going to be running the Tal Rasha, the full set, all six pieces. Um, but we are only running five, okay? Because we're going to be running the Ring of Royal Grandeur because we have three different sets that we're using for T16, okay? So to be able to run this build, we're doing, a, you know, like we're pulling a lot from our arcane power. So we need as much resource cost reduction as possible as well as maintaining our damage output, okay? So we're going to run five of the Tal Rasha pieces. We're running two of the Captain Crimson for the huge cooldown and resource cost reduction. And then we're also pairing it with all duels for just even more damage okay so we have those and then with our rings and amulet we're going to go with the tal rasha's one and then we're going with convention of elements and then the halo of karini now there's a lot of flexibility here when it comes to the rings like if you wanted to run rachel's ring of larceny and just get a little bit more speed you can do that if you want to run stone jordan for just even more damage you could also do that instead of coe um Halo is just really good because you're always going to have storm armor going. So damage reduction is fine since you're going to be just blasting around the map with your infinite teleporting. But you have some flexibility here in the rings, okay? The same could be said about Ogduels. I have tested this without these two. So if you really wanted to not use these, you could swap these out for like the Blood Bracers and then maybe just 
I don't know, a different shoulder piece that would be cool. Maybe do, uh, like maybe run in here and do, um, the pauldrons of the skeleton or skeleton king just for extra, um, you know, if you die, happen to die, maybe. Uh, but yeah, you could do something like that. So there's a lot of flexibility in the shoulders and then the rings, but this is what I think is just the most consistent and you just fly through everything. And then of course, for our weapons and offhand guys, we have Tal Rashas to complete the set. And then we have uh, Aether Walker. Now the Aether Walker is the reason we're able to just teleport around the map nonstop. We no longer have a cooldown, but it does cost 25 arcane power. So that's another reason why we need a lot of resource cost reduction. So that way we can infinitely do this while casting and spamming meteors. So that way we never run out, okay? Um, and then for our boots, we have the Nofer's boots, of course, for increased damage. You guys see from the last video, if you saw the last one, we had some shitty boots. We had crappy boots. But now, instead of all resist, we have our armor. And then we got a huge bow. So we found a, a lot better pair of boots there for the 856. I think in the meteor push build that we did yesterday guys i think it was at like 700 or 600 and something percent so it was really low so i'm glad i found these but that's the gear guys in the kanias cube of course you have to have grand visor for the arcane power cost reduction on meteor and increased damage menful of twilight to uh just have meteor shower and increased damage for meteors and then ring of royal grand tour for all the three different sets that we're running for the skills, we have Black Hole Blizzar this time instead of Comet, because this is gonna be our fire one. We're gonna use it the same way. We're gonna hit Black Hole on a group of enemies. It'll send down a fire meteor, and then we just hit, we just spam our other meteor, uh, which is gonna be Comet. What do we have on here? Black Heart, no, it was, uh, I'm sorry. It was Black Hole uh, Absolute Zero. So Absolute Zero was the old one, sorry, uh, with Blizzar, and then you have Meteor for Comet. And then, of course, Teleport Calamity, which is for our Arcane element. Then we have Storm Power, Power of the st Storm Armor, Power of the Storm, which is great. If you really wanted to swap this out, actually, guys, you could swap this for um, Scramble for just more movement. It actually probably should be Scramble for just more movement. But if you want the uh, reduced Arcane cost of all skills by three, this is actually really good for this build because we want the cost reduction. So either one, if you feel like you're not running out of a whole lot of resources, then run scramble for more move speed. But otherwise, Power of the Storm is definitely the way to go. Uh, and then Familiar uh, Arcanaut because this gives us our uh, arcane power regeneration, which is huge for this build. And then Magic Weapon Conduit for as our enemies get hit, we restore more arcane power. Into our passives, they change up a little bit. We're rocking Galvanizing War for just more protection. We have Astral Presence to increase our Arcane Power and Regen so we can spam. Audacity for more damage and then Power Hungry for more damage. Again, with T16, guys, the, the skills here could get swapped. You have a lot of flexibility here. I think you ought to always run these two with Audacity. Then you could swap out Power Hungry for maybe Illusionist. So every time that you use Teleport, your movement speed is increased. I actually kind of like that better now that I'm looking at it. So probably run Illusionist over Power Hungry but keep Audacity for the extra damage. So that way, as we're teleporting, we can just move around a lot faster as we're casting um, uh, Meteors. I would say Elemental Exposure, but we're not going for high damage. We already just annihilate everything on the board. So you have a lot of flexibility here, guys. So that is the skills and passives. Let's get into the bread and butter, guys. You already know the uh, skill priorities. Uh, or stat priorities. So for the Tal Rasha's gear, this stuff doesn't change. You want intelligence, crit chance, meteor damage on the helmet. We got a crap roll on that. Uh, for shoulders, you want intelligence, area damage, cooldown, and resource cost reduction instead of 12% life. The gloves, you want intelligence, crit, crit, area damage. For the armor, you want intelligence fit, attack speed, armor. Uh, the belt, you want intelligence fit, armor, and then this would be all resist or uh, life actually instead of regenerate you would probably want life on the belt for the pants intelligence fit armor the boots intelligence fit armor meteor damage amulet crit crit cold skills on uh, the tal rashas uh, the bracers you want cold skills intelligence fit crit chance the rings you want crit crit resource cost reduction or area damage will work just fine uh, intelligence crit crit this also needs to swap out intelligence for area damage as well as we've mentioned before for the tal rasha set source this one is a little complicated you can go two ways with this but you definitely need to have damage intelligence vit 
crit chance and in meteor damage those are guarantees now if you want to swap out crit chance for or excuse me um critical hit chance for something else else that you could roll on that you could do it like resource cost reduction or cooldown one of those two but i like the critical hits gain back arcane power uh but that's the one option you have there if you have a you know a weird roll with the tower ashes and then of course with aether walker we're going with the storm armor charges power on here which is the same that we run on the push build but for the aether walker because it ends up giving us holy damage i ended up having to re-roll to get area damage but you want intelligence area damage damage or attack speed on here uh, and then you want the holy damage to be swapped to fire or cold okay preferably cold but uh, you know, this is just what we had with the Aether Walker. I kind of got some crap rolls, and I actually ran out of the uh, Sanctified Crucibles. So this is the only one that I have. So I, we got to do some grinding tonight to get some more. But, guys, the gems that we're rocking in here, the legendary gems, of course, Boon of the Holder, uh, Boon of the Hoarder, uh, Zayas for more damage at the longer distances, and then Bane of the Trap for more damage because we're moving around. That is the Meteor T16 build for Tal Rasha's, guys. It, it's pretty cool it moves around really really fast it's still very strong and you annihilate things i just thought that this would be a really cool build for um tal rashas and wizard players that really like meteors in season 27 i really enjoyed this build it's just not going to be the fastest compared to some other classes but with aether walker it does allow you to get around the map really really good that is going to do it for the build guys so thank you so much for watching today uh i really think this build is cool let me know down in the comments what do you guys think of a t16 meteor build whether it's viable whether it's uh something that you could really do as a wizard made let me know down in the comments but thank you guys so much for watching if you are new here be sure to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace